Welcome back. It is uh, day six after surgery, I think. Day seven? It's Thursday, day seven, yeah. After surgery and uh, yeah, after since day four was the last update. Everything's been going great. I'm feeling better and better, getting more and more range of motion each day. Uh, I'm to the point where now I can do a trainer. I'm doing a, it's a very, very easy workout called Lazy Mountain. It's just like 180 watt average an hour. Just getting some little bit of sweat in and I figure that just doing something kind of helps with recovery as well. So. And so far, I mean, that's been working. I don't know if it's bro science or not, but I'm sure there is some some benefit to this. Um, the wound is healing well. Uh, I've been changing bandages every day, so it's going well. I've also been watching Shark Tank. So that's been kind of interesting and, and getting me a lot of, uh, what's the word? I guess getting me excited about work. Maybe doing something with my life. Uh, it's been inspiring to watch these people who do what they do. But yeah, good. Feeling, feeling really good. Really happy with how recovery is going, and I can actually now hold my bar. This is the injured arm. So I hopefully, I hope, I hope, I hope that I can go back to uh, outside riding soon even though it's gonna get really cold out and I'll be on Zwift but if I can get a couple of days in before it snows or it gets too cold that would be nice was down here uh, one thing that I noticed while doing these easy rides is how much higher my average heart rate is it was typically like I don't know, 120 maybe for this power, but now it goes up to like 140. And I guess the uh, reason for that is, a most likely, I was on a couch for two weeks, so or like, like yeah, pretty much two weeks. And then second, probably a little bit your blood loss. I don't know how much blood I actually lost in the surgery but I know they took out a lot in the ER so it could be that you know less blood volume means that my heart needs to pump faster to keep the same flow whatever just kind of interesting to notice but you know as far as like muscle it's about the same like my legs don't really hurt I'm sweating it's a little hot in here but it feels the same, it feels easy, but the heart rate is just like still 20 bits too high, which is a crazy amount. You think about it. But yeah, almost done here. And then I'm gonna eat. Gotta eat. Workout done. And I forgot my blender bottle. But I will show you guys what I eat after my workouts now while I'm recovering it's not oh well, I guess it's good because I should probably be doing that all the time anyway Ooh, it's dark you guys can't even see me hi Jenny I'm making a video hi I was in a room and it was dark so you couldn't see me at all that's gonna be a good part of the video <laughs> Got my bottle. All right, here's where the magic happens. The messy kitchen. I'll put you here for a second. Right in my crotch. All right, so we got almond milk. This is actually almost done. I need to get more. I love almond milk. I stopped drinking regular milk a long time ago. I just don't like the taste of it. And I'm not lactose intolerant, but I just... The idea of cow milk just 
didn't sit right with me anymore, even though I eat cheese, but I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. I feel like I shouldn't be drinking cow's milk, but anyway, almond milk is good replacement. And if you get a vanilla sweetened one, it's uh, it's pretty good. Just say that. All right, now that is done. So then I take my whey protein. So I actually used to take a lot of protein powder when I was lifting, but due to me not lifting anymore and just cycling, which is a terrible idea, by the way, don't just bike. So don't be like me. I'm gonna do more lifting, back to lifting this year. Anyway, so I do a scoop and a half to two scoops of whey protein, which I started using again. Building block of life. Then I take this thing. It's collagen. It's also protein, but it's not really a muscle building protein. It's more like a skin and I guess cartilage and stuff like that. I do two scoops of that. I heard good things about it. I don't really actually know exactly if it's if it works or not, but hey, if it could help my skin heal up and my bone heal up faster, I'm all for that. So that is what I put in my blender bottle. And then I also take at the moment at least, I don't know if I'll keep taking this, but I take calcium with D3 vitamin, so uh, the reason I take that is bone, just that was actually recommended by the doctors to take after the surgery, I guess it would probably help the bone healing, right, calcium, uh, so I am taking that, I hope that it does something, um, even if it doesn't, placebo is pretty strong and I do believe it's going to do something, so, you know, worst case it, uh, it doesn't, but best case it does, and it actually, you know, helps me get better faster. Which, as you saw earlier, I am now able to properly hold my bike. Well, properly, but slowly hold my bike normally um, with my right hand. Uh, so that's really exciting. Uh, and I really, really hope to go out soon. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And I will keep you posted on how the progress is going.